Okay, so this is video 11 of div 4. Um, if we go back here and we actually just test this thing out that we just did. Um, we logged in as cashier and we uh, you know, tried to uh, go in here and this was disabled, display JV was disabled, new order, purchase and work was disabled, um, and the uh, if we typed in T, the only thing that came up was Tetris, which now since I'm logged as logged in as Crazy Ninja Mike, um, the owner or manager, um, it comes up with telephone, so I can purchase telephone plan or something. Um, yeah, so that works. That makes it a little better than what it was. Um, come here. Uh, let's see. Uh, we can set it up so it can actually log out a user, that main form. That'd be kind of neat. Uh, so we'd go to main panel. Uh, let's see, view. Do toolbox button maybe up here. Say BTN log out. You could say log out. You double click it. And uh, we need to set up something else too. Let's add a new item, actually, a new class. Mm, should be a class. Have it say. Uh, Global var. This will be a global, global class for us. Uh, forget how Visual Basic does it though. Let's see, it's something like shared or something. Nope. Uh, let's look it up. Visual Basic. Okay. Let's see here. Um, it says public. It's not what I wanted. Maybe it is what I wanted. Maybe it is. Okay, so uh shared dim maybe. Nope, that's that doesn't seem like what I want. Let's see uh Okay, so we're going to say, uh, how much time did that take? Took a little bit of time, huh? Yep. Uh, public. Public shared something as uh, FRM uh, authenticate user. Let's do this have uh, main form. Okay. Let's hope that works, I guess. I don't know. Um, let's see. So now if we... I feel like this needs to say shared. I don't know what happens. Far dot... Hey, that works. Say main form. Dot uh, show. And... Me dot... Uh, close. Um, and then, uh, basically what we need to do now is set up Authenticate User. When you double click that, it needs to 
Nope, not when you double click that. When you uh, load, so up here, we need to so that uh, global var dot main form equals me equals this form. So now, if we come out, log in, log out, that didn't work. It's because when he closes, when main panel closes. He is closing the entire application. That's not what we want. We want to take this out then. Now when we log in, log out, log in, log out, we log in as someone else. You log out, log back in as the other guy. It keeps on working. Um, So if we do click the uh, close button on that other form main panel, we want to make sure that um, if global var dot main form dot uh, visible equals false to uh, end the program. So now if we log in we actually click this, it'll shut down the entire program still for us. But if we um, log out, does it again. That's not good. Uh, let's see. I'm going to do me.close after that. And that should fix it. Say log in, log out, log in, log out, close it. Good. Let's see here. Uh, so that works. Now, um, going to center all the screens on all the forms. This might make it look a little better. Click the background. Click start position, center screen. Same thing. And just do it for each form. Makes it look a little better. And then main panel, center screen is already like that. And this one. And they're all center screen now. So now when you start it, it's in the center, you log in. That's not right. I don't think so. Let's just say account main though. Okay, so for main panel didn't do it, I don't think. Yep, we didn't set it, set it for that one yet. So now, log in. This looks like a lot better application where it kind of stays in the center. You say new order and it works. Choose customer, uh, Smith. And it looks just looks a little better. Then you log out. X. That looks a lot better. All right, and then uh, we could go and make a delete button so we improve our project so we get that extra five or we get that five points. From the requirements. Um, let's go and add that then. So that's on the details form. So we go close out of all these so it's a little faster. Go to details and just go add it down here. Um, delete detail. BTN delete. And actually have it say delete detail. You can double click. Uh, smooth it out, double click it, and uh, let's see, so what we want it to do is, what do we want it to do? We want it to delete an item from here, a selected item from here. Okay, so let's look at what we're dealing with. New order, choose customer, smith, say Tetris, add a bunch of them. We want to be able to click this, and it'll delete the se selected item. Um, 
Yep, that's what we wanted to do. Okay. But not just delete it here, but also delete it in the, uh, I guess in the database or where, where, wherever it is right here. Fix it right here too. Let's look at the code and see what it's working with. Um, let's see here. Or can you do selected items dot remove? Removes the uh, I guess that's work that would work, I don't know. Well, let's just see what that does. I'm not really sure. Choose customer, Smith, Tetris, add a bunch. That didn't do anything. Um, let's see here, uh, dot items maybe, dot remove at, or dot remove, I'll be details dot selected item, that might work. Let's see here, uh, new order, choose customer, Smith, Tetris, add a bunch, delete, delete, delete. Only bad thing is it's not updating the order total, uh, so we have to do something in there. Um, let's see here. look at it in more detail and then make the new video um, with a little more understanding of how it works because I forget a little bit let's see uh, I'll make a new video real quick in a second